Welcome to CEOs in Cars, a BC business video series sponsored by the Delari Group of Companies in which we drive around in high-performance cars with British Columbia's equally high-performing CEOs. My name is Tom Gerzimchuk and I'm the publisher of BC Business Magazine. Today, I'm excited to be driving around the high, windy roads of the North Shore Mountains with iconic Canadian shoe designer John Fluvog. John has been designing shoes for decades and has become the face of finely crafted, durable, sustainable Canadian fashion design. Given his commitment to quality and durability, we put him behind the wheel of the ridiculously decadent 2014 Bentley Continental GT Convertible, an unprecedented driving experience that has just been completely redesigned for 2014. Improving one of the most sophisticated vehicles in the world was a tall order, but Bentley nailed it, adding power, speed, while making it quieter and way more comfortable. Driving wrapped in wood and leather doesn't get any more refined than this. Nice to see you. Great. Nice to see you. Ready to go for a drive? I am ready to drive. I'm looking forward to it. Excellent. Let's get started. <laughs> what, what ended up being your first car? I had a Hillman convertible. What's a Hillman? It was a 1960 baby blue Hillman convertible. Not exactly macho. Again, keeping on the subject of cars, you sold a car to finance one of your shops. I did. Uh, business had been tough. I had bought my partner out um, about five years earlier and I had to pay him back and so there's a lot of money going out of the company. Overall I'm sitting there like a dead duck really. Uh, so anybody could shoot me. And I was like in tough shape. So I'm thinking, gotta do something here and I'm going, well and I remember turning at 16th and Dunbar and going around the corner and going, I know, bam, I'll sell this car. And it, you know, it was weeks and weeks went by. Nobody came to see it. Finally, some guy comes to see it. And he goes, yeah, I, you know, I'll buy this car from you. It was like, the car was 13000 And the day that I had to go down and pay the contractor, um, that exact day is uh, the day he came and gave me a, a certified check for 13000 bucks, which I put into my account and transfer it, and at that point, it was exactly 10,000 US dollars. It was the exact amount that I needed to pay this guy, and that's how I started in, um, in business. So if you were launching a business today, what would you focus on? Ah, if I was opening a business today, I'd make it, I, I really want to uh, be totally into what I did, number one, like, passionate yeah. about what it was and then you want it I think you'd want to have a real vision for what you did and and I think a key ingredient now would be to get people around you and on board with you that you don't do it yourself I think we should put the top down right yeah well I think it's a 30 right is what we got yeah we'll we'll stop slow up down. we'll slow down uh, pull over up here and put right. the top down enough of this like being all in closed business that's right there it did the same thing So you had the place in Edmonton. Was I that did. the first store outside of Vancouver? It was. Well, that's a strange place to open. It was. It? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was there. I've done some really strange things. For instance, why would so I open a store in Seattle, and then why would I open a store in Boston, Massachusetts? Yeah. Why? What was going through that man's head? <laughs> well, maybe the first answer is not much. And uh, second answer would be, I wanted to see if I could do it. Business is a wonderful vehicle to be able to express yourself on all levels. You know, I've had comments, I've been in meetings or, you know, hanging out with business people and they go, well, you know, man, if you're not in business to make money, I say, what are you doing there? I'm going, I don't understand that concept. Right. Why? You're not in business just to make money. You're in business to work in community. And it's a gathering, it's a, it's a huge opportunity to gather people together of like-mindedness and create and make something. To me, that's what business is. Yeah. That's fantastic, John. Thank you. Is your butt as warm as mine? Well, I got a nice hot butt, I gotta yeah. say. Perfect. Thanks very much. These people, they're asking me to come out on a Friday morning, drive a Bentley convertible around. 
I mean, you know, I didn't sign up for this, you know. That's, right. ah, that's the thing of beauty. 